Welcome and thank you for watching my video. Today we are going to do a brief tutorial on a new smart technology that I had installed in, in my garage, um, which is the rain machine, the forecast sprinkler. And here's a look at the box. Okay, I picked this up on Amazon um, using Amazon Prime. It got here within less than a day. And the reason being is I had this old timer um, installed by my sprinkler guy who's actually been in business for about 50 years. It's still the same guy. I gave him a call and I said, you know, I'm into this smart technology stuff, um, automating my home. And I said, I'm not sure, you know, I left a message. I said, I'm not sure if you're into that, if you know anything about it, but can you give me a recommendation on what to use if you do? And he said, absolutely. He said that he is really into this, um, and he finds it to be very efficient for his uh, customers. Um, he has installed uh, several of them, but he's never actually used it. And uh, I was going to use it and show him how it worked. And um, I'll tell you, I had a lot of fun installing it. It's very simple to install uh, from a software standpoint. Um, he took the original timer off of the wall and simply hooked these wires in, which are the power. And the next step, essentially, is basically doing a search. It works on both Android and on uh, iOS. And you're going to want to be looking for the Rainmaker app. Essentially, like anything else, if you use the ring.com doorbell, um, you install the application and it's essentially going to look for their device, okay? So on the Apple iOS, um, again, the application is called Rain Machine. So you can see here, it's Rain Machine. So we are going to get that, okay, and install that. And again, so uh, basically, um, we hadn't used the sprinkle system in a long time. Uh, we have essentially six zones. Uh, this actual hardware, software, the rain machine, as you can see here, um, does have eight zones. They do make one with more zones, uh, 12. This is touch enabled, it's Wi-Fi, it gives you forecasts. It has a lot of different um, features, uh, including you know, it's a weather aware, there's an ET controller, which um, you know, essentially is the evap uh, evapotranspiration controller. It's a Wi-Fi web-based control, eight zone master valve, uh, so you can actually um, name your different areas and zones and um, turn them on, you know, when you want, set the time period for how long you want them on for. You can create programs, for example, morning, evening, afternoon, um, a lot of uh, different settings. Location-based weather data from uh, NOAA and has a capacitive touchscreen uh, buttons, automatic or manual relay delay. It has freeze control, hot weather compensation. Um, and again, this device needs to be indoors, of course, um, but unlimited programs. You can program station delay, uh, multiple cycles and soak timers. You can activate, make inactive programs, and you can do daily, odd, even specific weeks or days or even months that you don't want to water the lawn. Uh, and then you can edit those, those uh, different zones and programs as you want. Again, there's a master valve pre and post delay, edible zone names zone vegetation type so you can set the zone vegetation type which is important and then weather data uh, parameters per zone again there's also other devices that you can install into your lawn um, which can help you um, you know gather data and analytics so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the rain machine app on the phone here if you can see it would like to send you notifications so what I'm gonna do essentially is hit Okay, and it's going to find the actual um, waterfront sprinklers, which is the device here. So it automatically picks that up. Uh, that's what happens when the phone app starts communicating with the device. It knows what it's looking for. And then it's going to ask for um, the password. So I've already installed the app on my Android device, and now I'm going to install it on my wife's phone. And I'm going to log in. It does give its own um, IP address as well. So basically, I logged in. 
and you can see immediately um, the data that it's showing. All right, so waterfront sprinklers, uh, the next watering cycle is on so-and-so day and time. You can see the weather, um, the water needed, and um, you see the dashboard and the zones and the other information that um, it allows you to provide. Um, but essentially, what we want to do is we want to go to the zones, okay? The zones and the programs and the settings is the important part. So if I go to the zones, um, it had, this one has eight zones, as I said, and I basically um, set the different zones like front right and f front right south and right side back and side walk left and back left, front left. I have additional zones I could uh, actually program. And again, um, to remind you, any of you of us that just joined, this is the Rain Machine. So there's different products out there. This was reviewed by my um, sprinkler system guy, um, who's been in the business for over 50 years, and you know this is noted to be a good system. Now, essentially, these when they um, before they were programmed by myself on my other phone, they basically said zone one, two, three through eight, as you can see. And if I click on zone um, seven, I can just hit start and it'll, it'll go on, okay? Now, if I want to edit the zones, uh, essentially, you can see where it says edit and reasons I may want to edit the zone. If I added zones or I want to rename them, so I can hit edit and um, I can go ahead and edit any of these zones, okay? So let's hit front right and then you can rename it. You can enable it, disable it, you can change your vegetation type, um, you can you know, select whether you want weather data, historical averages, and so on and so forth. So we'll just hit save. All right. And um, you know, that's pretty, pretty self-explanatory, but there's different programs. So we go to the programs tab and uh, you can set add as many programs as you want. So I just did an evening watering and uh, basically um, frequency, I selected daily. You can do every other day, you can do odd days, every two days. You can select the days and the time of the day you want to do uh, the watering. So here it says start time, 6 a.m. Well, guess what? If I name the program evening watering, uh, it doesn't really go along with uh, 6 a.m. So I'm going to change it. Say we'll do 8 p.m., okay? So I will select 8 p.m., all right? And then I'll just hit... Um, back okay so now what we did was we saved that program to uh, water at 8 p.m. so that's our program there all right now I want to set different you know if I go away on vacation or whatever else I want to um, you know I can make it so it waters every other day or if the, it's gonna rain out so that's not um, water on the rainy days and cycle and soak um, I have two cycles 30 minutes soak delay between zones you can set that and watering time so right now I just um, set the watering times to be to go for 30 minutes on each of the zones that I have okay um, so that's essentially that um, you could add a new program as I said and then you have your settings uh, tab which offers you different uh, you know watering history snooze which temporarily stops all watering activity restrictions like not to water on certain days your weather is your advanced settings with data sources. So you can add weather stations um, if you have weather underground um, uh, and so on and so forth. And, um, you know, the sensitivity, you can set it um, all that up. All right. And, of course, you could update the firmware and so on and so forth. There's going to be updates and all that. But, you know, the, the zones areas where you're going to be, you know, mostly uh, using to uh, water the lawn. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you outside and show you how it essentially works, okay? So, this is a very simple device here. As I said, this is the, the hardware behind it. Um, you really don't have to get yourself involved and know much about it. Connect it, all right? Make sure you know how to do the power, the power connection. If you're disconnecting another device, um, you know, make sure you know how to do that and don't electrocute yourself. But uh, a, a lot of the things behind this, um, you know, have to do with conserving water and having control and having a connected smart system. So 
you know, basically the rain machine connects via via Wi-Fi, so it's going to connect to your current Wi-Fi that you have in your home. Okay, and that's very easy to do because it, once you install the program on your phone, whether it's Android or iOS, um, it will sense the device that you have uh, installed, and um, it essentially will download weather data every three hours. And NOAA, which is NOAA, employs satellites, radars, and thousands of weather stations, and delivers the most accurate weather forecast on Earth. Um, and it's at your fingertips. And advanced uh, climate modeling running on huge data centers are free, basically, for you to use in your garden. So um, consider that. Also consider the fact that this has eight watering zones. Um, now, this device I paid $149 for, I got it on Amazon Prime. Um, there is an option if you do want more water zones, say 12 or 16, I believe, but you're going to pay about $90 more, um, but if you need it, you need it. Um, you know, I'm actually very happy with this device. Um, I took my, my sprinkle guy who's been in the business for 50 years, who uh, caught on to this technology and thinks it's been great, um, and, uh, you know, I had no question that I just, I said, let's do it. So he installed the hardware for me, but I did the software end of it. So, and I'll tell you, he's, he's impressed with it. So, so with just a few touches, you can, uh, you know, either on the buttons there, which is touch screen, uh, capacitive touch screen, you can um, set any of the vegetation types. You can do any mobile device, as we said. So uh, that's cool. And um, it works over 802.11 n Wi-Fi. You can connect directly to the rain machine from the Android or Apple device, as we said, in very few steps. And you can connect from the iPhone, connect from Android, any screen, connect your garden to your smartphone or tablet, and remotely control everything from bed, no matter what. All right. And I'm sure there's a way to do it remotely as well. Um, you can look into the future, forecasting up to seven days. The rain machine dynamically adjusts your watering schedule using real-time temperatures, wind, and rainfall data. Um, the rain machine precisely calculates evapotranspiration, ET, dramatically reducing the otherwise wasted water. So that's another place where you're going to save. So a lot of these smart technologies, yeah, you pay a little bit more for them, but in the long run, hopefully they pay off and you save yourself a, a couple dollars. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you outside and I'm going to show you um, how this device actually works um, in terms of the buttons and turning on and off and so on. Now one of the important things, you invest money in your grass, your lawn, your vegetation, your climate there and uh, you want to be sure that you have a good functioning pipes and um, sprinkler system. You know, if you live at the end of the block, you want to make sure that they pump out the system and to get rid of all the residue at the end of it. You call your local water authority and they'll come and do it, hopefully. So right now we're going to take a walk outside. We're going to take a look at one or two or three of the zones functioning and what we can do with each of those zones. So hold on tight. So you can also um, access your uh, rain machine uh, either by going to myrainmachine.com um, or just rainmachine.com and go to login. You can remotely access your rain machine device from anywhere. And as you can see here, when you go on to the rain machine um, web uh, site and the web uh, area, you have still the same function. Um, home, the zones, the programs, the settings. So you can manage all this from here. Again, you can set all your programs from here as well. So check out my.rainmachine.com and um, you know, set up all your um, programs from here as well. Okay, so welcome back. So we're outside. And I thought the best way to name the zones um, in the system were essentially based on the geographical location. So if I'm looking out from the house outside, I figure this area we're looking at is the front left um, and then we have the front right over there behind me we have the rear and so on and so forth so I'm gonna bring up my mobile phone hopefully you can see it um, but I have the uh, different zones named um, if you can't see it I'm gonna go into the dark um, shadow here and show you that so 
I have front right, I have front right south, right side back, sidewalk left, and this I just set up quickly. We'll see if that, you know, so you can see you'll lose it here, but what I'm gonna do is, I am going to hit front left, okay? So, it brings up this, and ask me for minutes and seconds, okay? So I'm just gonna hit start, and we'll see how it happens. You can see the sprinklers immediately come on. And it's pretty good, there's very little delay there. Um, you can see they are firing off over there as well. Okay, and again, right from my mobile phone, I am controlling all the different zones. All right, if I wanna turn that zone on or change the uh, time period it runs for, I can do that as well. At a different zone. The front right south. Okay, we can do the right side back, which actually goes into the back of the house. And we can do the sidewalk on the left side. And again, as I said, you could add more zones, many zones as you feel necessary for your house. Um, but you can't, what I'm finding is run all zones at the same time, um, okay? But it's gonna run for a certain period of time, turn off some zones and then turn on some zones. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop all. There's a function for that. And you should see them all stop. All right. I wanna test and I wanna hit the sidewalk left. Hit start. And you see the sidewalk left come on. We have good pressure here after we had the blowout, so it works fairly well. So overall, I think this is a great system. I mean, for $149. Um, I can program, I can set uh, the different times, you know, wirelessly. Uh, it's smart. Um, it's able to conserve water based on data it's getting sent from NOAA. Um, you know, whereas it, if you just have the programmable, um, you know, the older um, panels, it's going to simply give you, um, you know, the sprinkler's gonna go on when you tell it to go on. It's not really uh, smart, it's not analytical, it's not keeping our you know, holding data they can analyze and see how much water you've used, how much you've saved and all that, and this really does that. Um, so really a, a, a good device. Um, like I said, I, I haven't used any other systems, but um, this is one that um, I'm actually very happy that I did buy this um, Rainmaker device, um, the Rain Machine device. Easy to set up, um, cost isn't that expensive. Um, you know, and it gives you a lot of good analytical data, like water saved over the past seven days, uh, and so on and so forth. Whether you use that data or not, who cares? But, you know, this is smart technology. This is convenient. Um, from your, you know, bed or any part of the house, you can uh, manage your sprinkler system. And uh, so ask your um, sprinkler guy or girl if they uh, know anything about these devices. If they don't, doesn't matter. Just ask them to put it on the wall, replace your other device. It's very simple to install from your iOS or Android device. Yeah, again, you can pick it up at Amazon, you can pick it up uh, essentially anywhere, just Google it. But Amazon, good place to shop, a good place to get it. So that's my recommendation. Any questions, post your message. And again, it's a new device for me. It's the first day using it. Just put it in today. So uh, I'll give you any feedback that I can find from the device. Thanks for watching.